spaghetti. Ice cold Pepsi. Ah, ravioli. Buffalo ah, Wild ah, Wings. Single pair healthcare. Oh, sorry, I was talking in my sleep. Mm. <coughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Oh, feeling real lethargic after my nap. We should probably go get some, uh, probably go get some exercise, right? And the best way that I can think of to get all limber and nimble again after a nice long nap is to go down into a drafty basement and chase this rabbit around. Now, catching Mips the Rabbit is kind of like my white whale in this game. And you have to do it twice. But, if you kind of do this number here and you stay right on him... Really? That didn't work? Which way did he go? I don't know which way he went. Did he go back down here? He did. So if you kind of stay... up, oh, never mind. That, that was too slow. You gotta change direction, but also stay right on him. Oh, I got him! Look at that! Mips the Rabbit! I've heard that his name stands for millions in polygons per second. And I... That, does, that, that phrase doesn't make any sense. So, Mips, you know... We'll see you at 50 stars, buddy. Today we're going to complete... Another level that I really like, one of the big sprawling levels of the game, actually, is the Hazy Maze Cave, which we're doing today. And I'm doing this one next because we unlocked the wing cap in the last video, and I kind of want to just get... Am I up on the banister? Why am I up here? That's not a good place to exercise. Mario, you're going to hurt yourself up there. We're going into the Hazy Maze Cave because I want to just complete the three caps in the game and we might as well take care of that now and this is where the second of the three caps happens to be well one of the three caps they're not actually numbered like you don't have to get them in a particular order but i am very very happy that i managed to run up that ramp without getting bowled over by a friggin rock <laughs> so just a little, neat little trick is if you ground pound right before hitting the ground you don't take falling damage I'm very proud of that trick because I learned it all on my own. And all we have to do out here is swim out to this big purple monster. The star that we actually are here to get is right on top of this island, but we're not ready to grab it quite yet. I've heard that this thing had this thing's name is Dory, I think. This Loch Ness monster kind of thing. We need to come around the island, though. Oh, I guess you're turning around this way? That's cool. She does kind of try to move the direction Mario's facing, if she can. You, you do kind of steer her around by running around on her head, but you don't have a lot of space up here, and... Again, the N64 control stick is not the finest instrument in all the land. So after finagling... Dory, I guess, out here. We make it to the Metal Cap Cave. So first thing we need to do is just go hit the green switch up here to get our Metal Cap ready to go. And we're just going to do that by hopefully not falling in the water. That would be tragic. We also need to collect some red coins. There's four red coins up here on land. And then there's four more down in the water just beneath this green switch. But now all of the green boxes in the game will contain greens, uh, green hats. Green hats turn us into Metal Mario. And the thing you need to know about Metalhead Mario is that Metalhead Mario can move. If you don't believe me, just in a couple of videos we'll be doing... Actually, no, in this video. Maybe in this video. It's in Hazy Maze Cave in any case. It's the name of one of the stars. Metalhead Mario can move! 
And the reason I don't know if we'll get it in this video is because the 100 coin star in Hazy Maze Cave can take a minute. So now that we've done that, we're going to go right back in and do the exact same thing. Go down to the Swimming Beast's Cavern. I like how they give you a full map of the level right there on the wall. And it's a fairly accurate map as far as I can tell. I mean, it, the uh, in, it, intention is that you use that map to navigate the cave and find the various the various paths and stars so you don't get lost and later on in this same level where we'll find a second map like a zoomed in map of a, a smaller area within the hazy maze cave the actual hazy part of it there's really i want to say four major areas of the hazy maze cave there's the lake down here there's the uh, big bottomless pit room that the rocks roll into. There is an elevator section, and then there is the actual hazy maze itself. And then there's the various connecting tissues. But I like this level because it's not just an obstacle course level. You really have to think about where you're going and how the various places connect up. And it's something you learn as you just go through the game. Let's see if we can get 100 coins now. So this guy is worth three, and he's got a buddy over here. He's also worth three, and they'll just infinitely spawn out of that hole. So now we want to turn back around, not fall into that hole. That'd be tragic. Everything that spawns out of that hole will no longer give coins, though. So, no more coins for us. We're going to get this guy's three coins right after we let him punch us in the face once. And now we've got to make this jump across here. We're going to hit a rock. We hit a rock. It's fine, though, because there's more coins. Look at this mess. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm, we're fine. Coins refill your health, because they're so delicious. They're delicious and nutritious. We have to actually ride all the way down here. Mainly, I just want to pick up the coins that are on the center platform. So yeah, third star in a row we're going down here. You see what I mean now about Mario 64 uh, liking to reuse its areas. Like, there's three different reasons. Four, actually, because we'll be coming down here again later for one more star. But there's eight coins in each of these coin rings, so you can't ignore these eight coins. In my test play, I got... In my test play, I thought I could get away with not taking these eight coins, and I got to... the <laughs> very end of the route, where I got to where the red coins live, and I was two coins short. So, shows what I know. We'll just go ahead and do it. Am I swimming back to the entrance? Is it over here somewhere? There we go. The problem with having like low poly walls and very little shading is it can be difficult to tell the shapes of walls if you're close to them. There's one particularly, actually two very egregious examples of this that we'll see uh, later in the game that are actually pretty funny because one of them can kill you. <laughs> I, part of why I like this game, I mean obviously I played it when I was a kid and it's just part of my uh, part of my childhood, but as an adult, I kind of enjoy the unpolished bits of it. Let's see if I can make this jump. 90 degree turn, and we are gonna die. No, we're not. We're up there. We got it. Never mind. Don't worry about it, guys. I got this. Oop, I didn't mean to switch to Mario Cam there. Okay, so this is the elevator room. This is where our red coins are. All we gotta do is take this elevator down. And we're not actually going to be taking any red coins yet. There's a couple of jabronis. You're a jabroni. Now you're just coins. 
See, what Mario does, he has magic punching hands. So when he punches a monster to death like that, there's one more, there he is. When he does that, kaboom, he transforms a living, breathing spider monster into a collection of chocolate-filled coins that refill his health. Isn't that lovely? All right. There's a good chance I'm going to get lost down here in the hazy maze, trying to collect all my blue coins. We'll see how this goes. Let's get rid of this man first. I think what we want to do is go all the way up here, turn around so the camera is behind us. Well, I guess not. We want to go this way and get all the blue coins. Okay, now we just need to find the exit of the hazy maze. Which, over here perhaps? Get out of that little hole, Mario. You're going to hazy maze yourself to death. I better take another green cap here. As long as I'm wearing the green cap, I don't have to breathe so the poison doesn't hurt me. But... Is this my exit over here? No, that's where we came in. Take another hat. <laughs> We're going to run around aimlessly until we find... Okay, I know where that goes. That goes to places I don't want to be, which means this must go to somewhere I do want to be. Hey, there's some coins. I'll take those. I'll take this hat, too. Just so we're safe when we get out of here again. Have I killed you yet? I probably didn't collect this many coins in the actual hazy maze last time. Um, here we go. Here's the exit. Nice. Nice. And as you can see, we only need 11 coins to complete our run, and there are 16 red ones up here. There's a couple of eyeball monsters up here, and I think it's possible to kill them for blue coins, but I've never been able to do it. It should be noted that I'm not the best person in the world at the Mario 64 movement tech, as evidenced by the fact that it took me 17 tries to double jump up that ledge, but the problem is you've got to kill these eyeball monsters by running circles around them. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We, we broke the box and that's what's important. And these eyeball monsters are located on right next to the edge of their respective platforms. I don't understand how you're supposed to run circles around them. I guess it is technically possible though. Shoutouts to Rune Fox for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.